Now, our severe weather is growing, and they are expecting a severe thunderstorm outbreak for today. I don't mean a tornado outbreak. It's mostly going to be a wind event. There is a chance for a few tornadoes, but I think it's going to be a large hail and a damaging wind event what we have. Plus, it has grown. We do have our chances for our severe weather for today. And you can see we do have that big moderate section, but we do have chances for significant hail. Now, this is going all the way from Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Nebraska, all the way down towards Texas. And this is as we go overnight, we still get that big squall line, that big potential derecho, which is showing, matter of fact, that it will break up for Illinois and southern Wisconsin. And it will go northern with all those high winds. And they have another piece that goes southern with these high winds and hail as well as you go through the night early in the morning as well. Then for tomorrow, it's going to grow. And it has grown to an enhanced section for tomorrow. So now you have chances for tornadoes and hail in that section. You will have multiple rounds as that comes through for tomorrow. You have what's coming all across tonight, early in the morning. Then it's going to build again for tomorrow twice. It will go further down into Texas also. It will just keep going further and further to the south as we get that cold front coming down with these warm temperatures. Now for Thursday, we have the severe weather as well. When we go into Friday, it's going to be our little day of rest. But that's ramping right back up as we go into Saturday. We have our 15% and Sunday, we have our 15% risk as well. So what we saw at Colorado State University is showing true. So we do have severe weather for all those days. Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you all the latest information on this storm system. I'm going to take it hour by hour for tonight all the way to tomorrow morning. That way you can see what cities are impacted on the latest run and see what the potential timing is for these storms. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Now we still have our chances for significant tornadoes for today. Chances for at least EF2 or stronger. It has grown. You see how it has taken that northern push you also have chances for significant winds hurricane force winds and you see how this has grown as well so there's a lot of areas at risk for today and you see the significant hail remember this is the one that's bringing that tail all the way down into texas potentially i think it's going to grow into early morning hours then grow again for tomorrow as it goes into texas now we are still getting that big line of storms at qlcs and mostly when we get around three and four o'clock for today it's going to start growing and you can see this here this is your qlcs it's a quasi linear line of storms and get potential tornadoes inside of those and you can see this when you start looking in you can see these little notches that come out with this storm with the little bitty hooks in them you got to watch out for these because this is where you can get those potential QLCS tornadoes where you can get multiple tornadoes or tornado warn storms as this comes across. So this is looking at four o'clock for today as we start from Minneapolis going down into northern Missouri. And you can see as you go to five, it's still going to be there with this big line of storms, bring a lot of hail with it as well. And you still got storms going all the way from northern Minnesota into the UP of Michigan. And this is by five o'clock. Now, this is where it starts to grow a little bit. You can see it comes down from Iowa all the way into northern Missouri. But you also got these little pockets that are missing its convection. So it's not holding together as one big continuous line like a potential duratio. But if it holds together, for the intensity of the length and the intensity of the winds, it will be classified as that. Now, as we go all the way till six, we still have this line of storms. Matter of fact, it's growing into Oklahoma now, even northern Arkansas. But you can see this big QLCS line of storms bringing chances for tornadoes, a lot of wind and a lot of hail as we go all the way till six o'clock. Look, it's all the way into Minneapolis, going to northwestern Wisconsin now, even into the UP of Michigan. And as we go towards 7 o'clock, look how it still grows. goes away from Minneapolis. Now it's starting to leave you by 7 o'clock. And it's going to northwestern Wisconsin. This is where it's going to head a little northern on that bowing out of the line of storms. The squall line, the potential to ratio is curving to the north. While all this is still going to the east, and this is going to start weakening up as it goes from eastern Iowa to Illinois. And you still have that line of storms going through Missouri to northern Arkansas. But once you go till 7 o'clock, this is where it starts breaking up. The southern line of storms down here, this is going to keep going all the way through the night to the early morning hours. This right here from southern Wisconsin through Illinois, this is going to break up. You're losing your daytime heating and it's not holding together. But this northern line up here, this is going to stay all night long. So as you go to 8 o'clock, this is where you still have anywhere from 75 to 90 miles per hour expected in this region. 
and this is actually going through nine o'clock this is where a lot of the strong winds will be you can see these storms are starting to break up for illinois indiana don't worry you will be okay and you see how this does go further to the south in the southeast as you go to eight o'clock it's still going to be there brewing along this is still breaking up but this is still headed to the north for up of michigan northern minnesota going to wisconsin as you go through the evening you see the bowen out in there that's right before nine o'clock then you're gonna lose your daytime heating by 10 it's starting to move out through the north you have severe thunderstorms but it's losing its intensity you see how it's breaking apart for the southern wisconsin northern illinois line and you can see the southern line will go all evening along to the early morning hours as it starts for tomorrow then for tomorrow it's going to start again with your severe weather you do have the enhanced feature right here and this is where these storms start brewing up for oklahoma going into arkansas bringing a lot of chances for winds and chances for large hail with that as well but this is where you have your tornado threat 10 o'clock for tomorrow morning to move into arkansas from eastern oklahoma 11 o'clock is still there by noon one o'clock and two o'clock is going to start pushing off but then you're going to get your second line of storms you're going to get that daytime heating and it's going to pop all over again and go a little bit further to the south now while these storms are moving through tennessee and mississippi you got more storms brewing up for texas for oklahoma going into arkansas as you go into tomorrow evening got to watch out for that then it starts sparking up for the dfw around seven o'clock and it goes through the night with those as well bringing chances for hail, damage and winds, and you cannot rule out a possible tornado with that. It just looks like it's going to be a damage and wind and a hail threat to me. That's going to be your biggest threats. But as you get in those line of storms moving through from Texas, Oklahoma, and to Arkansas for tomorrow afternoon, this is where it starts growing a little bit more for everybody else. And you get some storms that starts moving through potentially Tennessee, Kentucky, Southern Illinois, and these little clusters of storms that move through tomorrow afternoon while you're getting all the severity in the South Central, these will move through Tennessee, Kentucky, Southern Indiana, Southern Illinois, going to Ohio. Then it's going to go to Western Pennsylvania, Western New York. This is not going to be tornadic in nature. This is just chances for winds and hail as well, which is strong enough as it is. Your tornado threat for tomorrow is going to be across the South. And you can see this from National Weather Service. So officially, your chances for tornadoes for today, even your significant severe in all of this black section, and your 15% risk. Here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. Also, the wind threat. That's a big threat as well. Not only the significant severe, you got this big 45% hatched area and a huge 30%. And you can't forget the 15%. That's still strong winds also. So here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for today and your hail threat also you still have that significant severe going all the way down into texas for large hail but you have this big 15 percent still so just be aware of that here's your cities and states at risk for the possible hail threat for today and national weather service does have it as an outbreak of severe thunderstorms including the potential for strong tornadoes is probable for today peaking in the afternoon to early evening the area most likely to be impacted will include the mid to lower missouri valley across the mid to upper mississippi valley to lake michigan vicinity now your chances for your strong tornadoes for today could appear most probable from northern missouri northward into southeast minnesota and southwest to central wisconsin from both supercell and mesovortex processes and you can see as you go into the evening they are seeing that qlcs line of storms at potential derecho bringing wind gusts from 75 to 90 miles per hour possible and that is going across central and eastern iowa into western illinois and northern missouri and as you go overnight into the morning, you do have that tornado threat across the south, your 2% and your 5%. Here's your cities and states at risk. Plus, you have the wind threat for tomorrow as well. This is where it's going all the way up towards western New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, bringing chances for the hail and the wind. Stronger winds down here on the southern side. And here's your cities and states so far at risk for the damage and wind threat for tomorrow. And your hail threat will be in the same locations, but significant hail expected out of those cells I showed you in the south. Here's your cities and states at risk so far.
Now for tomorrow, National Weather Service has severe thunderstorms posing a risk for damage and wind gusts and hail will be possible from Central Texas into the Ohio Valley and Lower Great Lakes vicinity on Wednesday. The highest concentration of damage and gusts and large to very large hail is expected from North Texas to Missouri Bethel vicinity. But you can see it's still bringing a lot of damage and winds, but you can see right here in that region where that bowing out, that potential derecho has moved from eastern Iowa, getting weaker for northern Missouri, getting weaker for northern Illinois, but it stays strong through Wisconsin, curving to the north. Might even clip a little bit of western Michigan, but it is going further on that higher ridge. Still bringing 60, 70, 80. He's still showing 90 in some of that white possible. Just be aware, a lot of strong winds coming, and you still got that bowing out head north bringing y'all winds as well. And then you have more winds that's going to brew up for tomorrow and through the morning. Also with your hail threat, you can see the hail threat coming through the night all the way through the early morning hours. Plus what's going through the southern side is going to be a little less intensity. And then you see where it grows for southern Missouri. Then for tomorrow we have it for Oklahoma, Texas, and Arkansas. Two big days of very large hail. That's why you have that long tail going all the way down. I hope showing the timing of the storms has helped you. You see the new information that we have for today is kind of breaking up the line right in the center, but it's going to have a strong northern and a strong southern part. So please let your neighbors know, let your friends know. If you have someone that's in these areas, I do appreciate it. Now, a quick prayer before you go for today. Matter of fact, this is the second time I have did this video for y'all because the first one got corrupt. The devil is always on my back trying to mess up things that I do for y'all. Don't matter. I will persevere through everything. God is on my side. Amen. Now, before you go real quick, Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Remember, keep all your trust in God. Keep all your faith in our Lord. He will keep you safe. God is God our Father. He is God the Son. And He is God the Spirit, the Holy Trinity. He's not just one. He's all three. So remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life, especially through tonight. I know I can feel the anxiety going through a lot of people. You will be okay. Calm down. These are just thunderstorms coming through. But unfortunately, they're bringing some strong winds with them. And you might even get a potential tornado out of it. This is May. This is what happens every May. So I hope you all be okay. I'll see you again, hopefully, for this afternoon update hopefully if the weather permits i'll be able to latest update shows i'll be okay i'm right here in milwaukee so we will see but hopefully i'll see you this afternoon thank you to everyone who helps share my information let people know what is happening what's the latest updates but remember all glory does go to god our father now and forever <laughs> amen <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> amen thank you father